Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you Apple's new subscription bundle service. It's Apple One. Here's how you get it. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless whether their employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. They've just launched their 10th campaign on Kickstarter, Mobile by Peak Design. To learn more, go to peakdesign.com slash twit. Folks, Apple has launched its new subscription bundle service, Apple One. It promised this at its recent iPhone event, and now it is here. This is a way to ostensibly save money on all of Apple's services, 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 services. Now, I heard that Apple was going to be announcing, or rather releasing, uh, Apple One. In fact, I heard it when Tim Cook and Luca Maestri held their uh their conference call for the financial report that Apple had released. And they said, the next day we're going to be releasing Apple One. So knew it was coming out, uh, found out, you know, the day that it was happening and went to try and find how to subscribe to Apple One. And I couldn't find it. And so I thought it'd be good to talk about how to get there and what you need to know about Apple One. So let's start with how to get there. Let's take a look. There are two ways to get to the Apple One subscription service, and I am going to talk about one because the other one is just by clicking a link, a link that we will include in the show notes. Apple has given a short link to kind of get you right to the page you need to be. Basically, what you're trying to get to is the subscription services page. So how do we get to that? Well, we launch the settings app. We tap on our name. So in this case, my name. We choose subscriptions. We wait for it to load. Whew, I was running out of breath there. And once we get here at the top, you will see a little banner that says subscribe to Apple One. Mine is gone because I have already subscribed to Apple One. So that is the way that you get to it. It'll be right there at the top and you can tap to subscribe and go through the process. So let's talk about Apple One, what it provides, what it doesn't provide. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that there are three different plans and each of those plans has some variation of Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, iCloud Storage, and some of Apple's other services. So let us start with the basic plan from Apple One. That is called the individual plan. That is for individuals, as you might imagine. For $14.95 a month, and Apple makes it very clear how much money you'll be saving by subscribing to this service, you get access to Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, that's Apple's TV subscription service, Apple Arcade, its gaming service, and 50 gigabytes of iCloud storage. So that could potentially raise or lower your iCloud storage space, depending on how much you have. Next is the family plan. This is for folks who are already using family sharing, especially because it will keep you, it will keep allowing you to use that family sharing. If you go for the individual plan, then you will not be able to share most of the stuff that you have access to and instead will need to do the family plan. So for $19.95 a month, and you would be saving $8 if you otherwise subscribed to all of these things, you get access to Apple Music, Apple TV+, Plus. Apple Arcade and Apple iCloud. So just like the individual plan, but instead of the 50 gigabytes, you get 200 gigabytes of iCloud storage. And the last one and most expensive one is Premiere, $29.95 a month, but it saves you 25 bucks a month if you were otherwise subscribed to all of these services. And folks, there are more services in this package than the other two. You get Apple Music, you get Apple TV+, Plus, you get Apple Arcade, you get two terabytes of iCloud storage, plus you get News Plus from Apple, and the service that's coming later this year, Fitness Plus. This is Apple's take on a fitness uh, wellness 
app that is going to help you with workouts and help you stay, get motivated, stay motivated, and uh, sort of kick it into high gear. So Premier provides you with the most and the most savings and also works as a family plan. So I want to be clear. The individual plan does not allow you to share your subscriptions that you get as part of uh, the individual Apple One subscription. The family plan and the premier plan both allow you to share with up to five other people all of the different services that you have. So I went with the premier plan because I already had subscriptions for all of these services. And in this way, well, at least the ones that are available right now. So for this way, I save 25 bucks a month on having this service. So let's talk about some of the questions that folks may have about uh, subscribing to Apple One. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. Peak Design just launched their 10th campaign on Kickstarter, Mobile by Peak Design, an ecosystem of cases, mounts, and accessories that make your phone a better tool for everything you do. These accessories use Slimlink, which has been added to their new everyday phone case. When paired with your mobile device, it connects with accessories, such as a wallet with a built in kickstand, charging and non charging mounts for your car dash, and a machined aluminum tripod, and so much more. To learn more about the Mobile by Peak Design campaign and all the other amazing products, head to peakdesign.com slash twit. Support Peak Design and visit peakdesign.com slash twit. First things first, Apple includes a one-month trial so that you can try out any of the services that you don't have. So that means if you've already tried out uh, Apple Music or you've already tried out Apple TV Plus as part of a different trial, you're not going to gain access to those. But instead, you will get access to a trial for the subscriptions or rather the services that you haven't tried yet. Now, it is going to be a little bit different depending on what plan you get and what services you choose. And that will impact how your your subscription to Apple One is shaped. And one of those areas is iCloud storage. Apple says, if you already have an iCloud storage plan, now, you know, for example, I have, uh, I already had a two terabyte plan. Uh, you may have 200 gigabytes, you may have a different uh, number there. If you already have an iCloud storage plan, here's how this works. If the iCloud storage included in Apple One, meaning the service that you're going to be subscribing to, has more storage than the plan that you currently have, then it will cancel your current iCloud storage plan and give you a prorated refund. So then your total iCloud storage will be the new amount, the larger amount that is part of your Apple One subscription. If your iCloud storage plan is equal to the one that's included in Apple One, during the free trial, I'm gonna read this directly, during the free trial, you keep both your current iCloud storage plan and the iCloud storage in Apple One. Once the trial is finished, your current iCloud storage plan is canceled. Your total iCloud storage will be the amount included in your Apple One subscription. So if it's the same, if you subscribe to Premiere, for example, and you already have two terabytes, then you keep both starting out. And then once the uh, free trial is over, then it drops off the iCloud storage plan that you're paying for separately and just keeps that two terabytes that is part of the Premiere service from Apple One. Now, if the iCloud storage plan is less than the one that you currently have, so the Apple One iCloud storage plan is less storage space than the one you already have, you're going to keep them both and be charged separately. So that way you don't end up with an issue where your storage is not enough for the amount of stuff that you have in your iCloud storage. Interestingly, you can also buy storage separately to add on to the amount that you have up to two extra terabytes. So you can have, as part of Premiere, two terabytes of storage, and then make the choice to pay for two terabytes of iCloud storage to add on to that, equaling a total of four terabytes of iCloud storage, quite a bit in the cloud. Now, there are some other questions that are that remain kind of unclear, uh, particularly relating to free trials. And basically, what you want to do is if you have a free trial, uh, because here I'll, I'll go ahead and read this as well. Apple One includes a free 
one month trial for services that you don't already have. After your free trial, services that you previously subscribed to are automatically included in Apple One. If you recently canceled a service, you might not be eligible for the free trial. Your plan automatically renews after the trial. So Apple has not made it incredibly clear what happens if you have, say, uh, that extension on the Apple Arcade plan that came as a separate uh, edition or the extension on the Apple TV Plus plan that came as a separate extension. So moving to Apple One at this point could end up causing you some issues where you don't get that full length of the trial. So that is something to just be mindful of when you choose to do this. Perhaps it is better to wait out the free trial, you're not spending money anyway, and then subscribe to Apple One at the end. Folks, I hope I helped you figure out what you needed to know, the quick and easy way to subscribe to Apple One, Apple's new bundled subscription service for its services. It is a complex uh, kind of understanding when it comes to how the different the different plans work and what all is included in each of them. So please do let me know if you still have questions about Apple One, if there's something that you want answered that I was not able to answer just yet, and I will do my best to get that answered for you. Thanks so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands on iOS. I do appreciate it. If you have questions that you want to send my way, it's hands on iOS at twit.tv. Or you can head to twit.tv slash HOI and be sure to subscribe to the show in audio or video formats and youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Thanks so much. And I will catch you next time on Hands on iOS. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, host at Twit TV. Got a question for you. Have you gotten tired of how bad your photos are looking every time you post them to Instagram? Better yet, have you gotten yourself a new camera and you can't quite figure out why the images just don't look that good? Well, I have a solution for you. This is my show, Hands On Photography. Each and every Thursday, I sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. So subscribe today at twit.tv hop to learn more.